Hello, everyone, and welcome to Once Upon a Time in Black History. My name is Tamara Shiloh, and I am your host. Be sure to listen to our other podcasts at our website, Once Upon a Time in Black This podcast can be heard on Anchor, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Today, we're going to talk about shoes. Yeah. Jan Ernst Matzlinger was born in 1852 in Paramaribo, Suriname, the Dutch Guinea, to a Dutch engineer father and a native black Surinese mother. His father owned and operated the the colonial shipworks that had been in his family for three generations. Jan was an apprentice in the colonial shipworks where he demonstrated a natural skill for machinery and mechanics. When he was 19, he decided to leave Suriname to sail the world. He worked as a mechanic on a Dutch East Indies merchant ship and later decided to seek work in the United States in 1873 where he settled in Philadelphia. And it was in Philadelphia where he first learned about the shoe trade. He didn't speak, speak, he didn't speak English very well because he was Dutch, but he worked on it, and by 1877, he spoke adequate English. He moved to Massachusetts to pursue his interest in the shoe industry, and after a while, he went to work in the Harney Brothers Shoe Factory. In the early days, Jan saw that the greatest difficulty in shoemaking was the actual assembly of the soles to the upper shoe. It required great skill to tack and sew the two components together, the top of the shoe with the bottom of the shoe. So... He went on to invent the automatic shoe lasting machine, which automated the process of joining the sole of the shoe to the the sole of the shoe to the upper part of the shoe. And that revolutionized the shoe industry. He improved his invention until it could produce. Well, he improved his invention until it could produce 700 pairs of shoes per day, cutting shoe prices across the nation in half because they were usually doing about 70 pairs a day by hand. But he sacrificed his health. He worked all hours on his invention, and he didn't eat. He never took care of his health while he was working on this invention, And he caught a cold, and that quickly developed into into tuberculosis. His early death from this disease meant he never saw the full profit of his invention. He died on August 24th in 1889, just three weeks before his 37th birthday in Massachusetts. His inventions are termed as the most important invention for New England and the greatest forward step in the shoe industry. A 29-cent postal stamp was issued on September 15, 1991, in honor of Jan Matzlicker. It was designed by the Barbara Higgins Bond. The stamp depicts Jan Matzlicker and is a part of the Black Heritage stamp series. Now imagine that. <laughs>